What up, good people? I've been meaning to do one of these for a minute, but I just haven't had time. So I'm just gonna go over my thought process for how I develop a stage plan and how I figure out which targets I'm going to engage in what order and from what positions. Uh, the first thing I do when I get to a stage such as this, first thing I'm gonna do is look for the stage brief or description. So the stage description is gonna let you know how many pieces of paper, how many pieces of steel. So you'll get your total round count on there. You're gonna get your condition of the firearm at start. Is it on belt, loaded and holstered? Is it on a table, unloaded? Are magazines on barrels, whatever, all that stuff, as well as if there's any limiting factors, like is it uh, Virginia count where you can't take any extra shots or there's a potential penalty. So I figure all that out first. The next thing I'm gonna do is just find all the targets, right? So what I'll do is I'll walk around the complex stage. I'll walk around the back part of the stage and then I just want to make sure I find them all. So if it's a 28 round stage, I want to make sure that I find 28 rounds, right? I don't want anything to be hiding behind a little barrel or something, especially because one, you can just miss it and then you have mics during the stage plus penalties, or you can come up with your plan and then suddenly you figure out that there's a little popper hiding behind a barrel and now your plan is all fucked up. All right, so once I figure that out, then I'll figure out to attack the stage. Now, in this case, there's no stage description, so I don't know where we're gonna have to start. So I'm not gonna come up with an ironclad plan, but let's just say I had my choice of where I was going to start. I would start in the far left. So to a lot of USPSA stage that you've seen in that, it's shaped pretty much like a T, right? So there's the top of your T, and then there's a little aisle that's your post in your T, right? So you've seen this shape a million times. For me, I like to go left, right, and then up, or right, left, and then up. The way I decide which side I'm gonna start on is the difficulty of the target. So on the left side, there's this guy straight ahead, right? So in order to get to that, you see I'm already on the fault line. So in order to get to him, that's a pretty, it's not a hard lean, but you really have to set up in the right spot to get it, so two, four, versus if we walk to the other side of the stage, these are more open, and in fact, I don't even have to go all the way to the end of the shooting area. So you can see I have plenty of room, right? So I can go two, four, and then the two pieces of steel. So on a stage like this, I'm going to start left side. Two straight ahead, four there, explode to the right. I'll enter on the open target that presents itself. See, it starts presenting, so I'm already aiming. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'm gonna bang my reload. Come in on that open guy. One, two, that guy presents, one, two. Transition straight ahead to the big popper. I'm gonna advance on that, take that. Bang, those two, one, two, one, two. That guy presents, one, two. Explode up, he presents, one, two. Transition to the left, one, two, back to the right. One, two, and then steal. All right, so that's the way that I'm going to shoot this one. Uh, it flows a little better. So the second thing we talked about starting in a position where it's a T, the difficulty of that first target, right? So we looked at this first target where it was, you're kind of standing on the fault line, leaning a little bit. The second thing that I look at is the ease of entry. So let's say I started to the right, ran left, shot these two guys, and now I have to come back this way. As you can see, I can't see anything. There's nothing for me to shoot. I can shoot that, but I have to go down there anyway, so it doesn't really make sense. I could technically enter on the popper, and then come and get these two, one, two, three. But then it kind of fouls up everything on this side because now I have to come all the way back left. So the way that flows on this one's a little bit easier. So after I clear that, once I reload, see, I can start shooting from right here if I needed to. So this one's much easier. One, two, one, two, popper. One, two, one, two, paper, paper, paper to the left, rotate right, paper steel. So I know that's real quick, but if you have any questions, just let me know.